What's up guys, this is Ian here, coach of your Leidner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 9 match against Brady or Echo Reaver and his Denver Rapidash. You notice that his record does not have 8 games, uh, that's because he still has yet to play Dan aka A Drive. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and accept the battle here. This is a live commentary and then hopefully my document will load real quick here and I'll be able to see everything going on. So, one thing to note is we see the Hoopa plus the Vikavolt and the Clefable, which makes me think uh, that he is running Trick Room against me. Um, I did have that noted down, and I'll sort of talk about that in a sec as we move along here. So his team consists of uh, um, Clefable, whoops, oh my god, I can't spell. Um... <clears throat> Clefable, Toxpex, Hoopa, which is a Z user, Mianshao, which is a Z user, Miltank, Durant, Glaceon, Mega Charizard X, Superior, Mandibuzz, Vikavolt, and Arbok, which is a Z user. I was not expecting the Mandibuzz, Hoopa, or the Mianshao, all of which came, so that's a little bit shocking to me. Um, this means that Mega Charizard X is the biggest threat on his team. Mandibuzz and Clef are uh, weird. Um, So we see Clefable, we don't see Toxapex, which is actually really shitty because, uh, sorry, uh, really bad. <laughs> because I didn't, uh, I specifically teched on the uh, Ground EMZ dig on Weavile for that. So, uh, lead options here. I have a feeling he's going to lead Charizard, I really do. Excuse me, and so my planned lead was always Incineroar. Excuse me. Uh, I actually think Minior looks really good not seeing talk specs, although my set of fodder is like Clefable at the moment. Or Mandibuzz, I guess. Mandibuzz can haze, but he doesn't have that. So I'm just going to lead with Incineroar and we'll see what happens here. Wow, everything's just like slow today. Holy cow. Alright, so those are Incineroar set, and we'll see what he wants. To oh, he wants to lead with Hoopa. Well, he's going <laughs> to... He's going to want to get the hell out of there. Because uh, this thing is going to get blown back. This thing is about to get blown back. He has to land a uh, Focus Blast. And he has to be modest. I'm just going to Darkest Lariat. See what he wants to do here. Um, he can go into Mandibuzz or Clefable. I'm just going to U-turn on both of them. Honestly. And if he wants to set Trick Room, then I guess that's okay, because I'll kill him, unless he's Sashed. He could be Sashed. Uh, he could be Sashed Hoopa for sure. That's entirely possible that he's Sashed Hoopa right now. And I may have, you know, screwed around with that a little bit, but... Um, oh, looks like someone's in here watching. Dumb. Hey, Dumb. I'm not gonna reply to you in chat, obviously, but... Okay, yeah, in comes the Clefable, which tells me that he's not Sash. That's just a 25% of the Clefable, and we don't see Leftovers. That's just a 25. He's... Oh my god, this thing is the... Um, this is Offensive Life Orb. This is Offensive Life Orb, Clefable. So if he's Modest... Life Orb... Moonblast is not doing a whole lot to me. Flare Blitz can Oko him here. I'm going to go for it. This thing is a pain. Honestly, Clefable is such a pain to deal with that I'm just going to go for this here. I'm actually running uh, one point of speed to outrun no speed Clefable. Um, he could be max speed here is the thing. I don't think that you soft boiled though is the thing. Like I'm not entirely sure if you soft boiled here. So I don't know if he's calking or not. I'm not entirely sure what uh, how he plays, but seeing that damage on Darkest Lariat. Oh sorry, that's actually not right. But Flare Blitz is. Oh, I got the burn. And there comes the Moonblast. And seven percent U-turn is a hundred percent killing him here. So I'm just gonna U-turn. Into Rotom, I think. I got the burn. I mean, the burn doesn't matter because he's Magic Guard anyways, right? But we can see based on that Moonblast damage that he's 100% Modest Life Orb. Because uh, this is Modest Max Special Attack Life Orb damage coming off of that Moonblast. 
so I know for sure he's offensive. Um, although he does have a little bit of HP investment, he could just be max HP. Uh, he could be max HP, max special attack, actually. Which is where that Flare Blitz roll would have come in, and he was actually safe. He was sitting at... Oh no, he was sitting at 75%, so I still had a, it was still a roll to kill him there. Um, but U-Turn is 100% going to kill him here. There we go. That annoying... That annoying thing is out of the way now. I love... Oh, thank God. Okay, so if I bring in Skarmory here, then Charizard is 100% coming in. Which is why I kind of want to go Rotom Wash, because he doesn't have the best way to deal with Rotom Wash switching in. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go Rotom Wash. I'm Specs Volt Switch, so we're going to do a lot of damage to whatever wants to come in here now. Sort of be able to scout out what his stuff is. I am so glad that Clefable's dead. That thing was such a pain in prep. Oh my goodness. Not as much of a pain as Toxapex. He's actually bringing a wildly different team. Um, and just for the sake of, like, playoff clarity here, uh, I believe Andy got... Uh, oh, in comes the Vikavolt. Okay, so... Vikavolt... Uh, we'll sort of, I'll, I'll sort of talk about that as we go. Oh, Hydro Pump's a roll to kill. Thunderbolt's a roll to kill me from Specs? Nani? Rotom isn't as necessary because I don't, uh, sorry, uh, because Toxpex isn't in this game. So I kind of feel like clicking Hydro Pump here and going for it. I'm going to do it. 89% and he does 80 <sighs> okay. He just like blatantly clicked. Okay, he did 80 with Thunderbolt. So you're not Specs. Well, we know you're Leftovers. Did he get a high roll? 79.7. Well, he was on the higher roll of Thunderbolt. Not that it really matters. Um, I kind of want to switch out Rotom here because it can be useful for the Mandibuzz, potentially. Although at the same time, it's not really. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. Oh, okay. And we hit it on the... Oh, <laughs> we hit it on the Mandibuzz and do a ton of damage. I'm going for it again. This Mandibuzz is weakened. Jeez. Hang on. Let me calculate the Mandibuzz damage. I want to see what set this is, just in case it sticks around. Um, Hydro Pump just did 70, so it looks to be Fizz Def. Mandibuzz. And it's dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you go Mianxiao here, I think. I think you go Mianxiao here. Um, am I carrying Ice Shard on Weavile? I totally forgot to pack Ice Shard, didn't I? Yeah, I don't have Ice Shard on Weavile because I wasn't expecting to need Ice Shard. So we don't have the priority. Yeah, so in comes Mianxiao. Um What do I want to do with the Mianxiao? So he can kill me here pretty much for free. Rotom has absolutely done its job unless... Uh, I mean, Charizard's not really... Like, he knows that I'm Specs now. He must know that I'm Specs. So, Charizard, Dragon Dance. I mean, Hydro Pump's killing that thing, but he's outspeeding me, like, 100% of the time. I totally didn't re realize that that was... Excuse me, doing that much damage to Charizard X. That's ridiculous. Uh, he does... He could be the spread, because he can speed time my Mega Gardevoir. So, I'm locked in, obviously. I want to keep Incineroar around to intimidate the Charizard. Um, although it's not really necessary anymore in this game, it can kind of switch in on Vikavolt as well, potentially. Let me calc that real quick. Vikavolt, uh, let's see here. This set against Incineroar, um, it has, let's say it's Thunderbolt over Energy Ball. I don't know why Vikavolt would have Energy Ball against my team, really. Maybe for Nidoking, but it's HP Ice would be better for him. So yeah, uh, Incineroar can actually live a hit from the Vikavolt and u-turn will kill it from this range so the question is do i just sack rotom here and i think the answer is yes and then i go into minior um because honestly minior can kind of just win if i can bring it in on uh on the man show here and he's not locked into knockoff like if he's locked into a fighting move so i'm gonna click it high jump kick okay um okay. man show let's assume you're scarfed although you don't have to be Against Minior. <sighs> it doesn't import my Minior sets, man. God damn. Okay, so it's in um, it's in that range, and I believe I'm hasty. Or uh, naughty, sorry. So we're naughty. Not that it matters, because it's minus Spidef. High jump. What? How much bulk do I have? None. High jump kick's killing me. So I can't go into... I cannot go into Minior. God, that's frustrating. 
I really want to get rocks up because he doesn't have removal anymore and that'll cripple the Charizard and it'll kill the Vika Volt. So I'm going to go Skarmory. I'm going to get rocks up. I think that's the play. Or do I have Brave Bird? I could just Brave Bird here. That might be the play actually because then Charizard... No, because then I break my Sturdy. So I think Stealth Rocks are the play. Okay, so he, we know he's not Scarf. We know he's not Life Orb. He could be Z Mianxiao. In comes the Vika Bolt. Alrighty then. Uh... Huh. This Vika Bolt could outspeed me here. But like we said before, Incineroar gets... Uh, Incineroar eats a hit. So I'm tempted to just go Incineroar then. It's good to know that his Mianxiao is not Scarfed, because that means my Nidoking's faster than it. Actually, my Nidoking outspeeds his entire team, which is really good. Uh, and as soon as vikavolt has gone, I can click Earth Power for free. So we're going to our... Oh, you roosted. Okay. Well, um, I'm sorry to say this, but you don't really have a Flare Blitz switch in anymore. So I'm going to click it. Like Charizard's his Flare Blitz switch in, but... It's, uh, Incineroar hits really hard, and Charizard is taking rocks damage. So, let's assume you're this set in regular form. Yeah, it, uh, it, it won't kill, but it'll put him in range of anything. It'll put him in range of anything. Roost was a really good play on the Vika Bolt there, predicting me to switch, I guess. Um, Brave Bird probably would have killed, to be honest. Skarmory... Let me just check Skarmory against Vyko Volt. Tank set. Yeah, Brave Bird would have killed. I could have gone for it. Okay, so he just stays in, which means Nido King can click Earth Power for free. I'm feeling like I should just sack Incineroar at this point. We don't know if that's Scarf Hoopa. To be fair, we don't we do not know if that's Scarf Hoopa. So let's sort of calc the damage on on Hoopa with Nido King. Yeah, Earth Power is not doing a whole lot. Sucker Punch is definitely my play against that thing, for sure. Um, Yen Shao, how much are you taking from Earth Power? A lot. A lot. Um, Hoop is going to resist Sludge Wave, isn't it? Otherwise, Sludge Wave is the play, is it not? Yeah, it resists it. Charizard in Mega, Mega X. Yeah, Earth Power is blowing that thing back, too. Okay, so in comes the Mian Shao. I'm kind of feeling Skarmory again, honestly. I don't know what he's going to click here. He could U-turn into Charizard on Skarmory is the problem. So maybe the play is sacking Minior? Minior is not really doing a whole lot. Weavile can still be very useful for the Hoopa. Um, let me go Skarmory. I made, I may have made a really poor play there. Yeah, there's the U-turn. So I feel like he's going into Charizard here, and I'm actually just going to Whirlwind the Charizard. Oh, he goes into Hoopa. What? Well, my Sturdy's back up, so... <laughs> Hoopa. Interesting. Skarmory against Hoopa. Choice Specs. Choice Specs, Shadow Ball, and Focus Blast are both doing a whole lot of damage to me. But Brave Bird here could potentially put... Nido King in a really good spot. The only thing is that then I'm losing something to deal with me and Shao. I'm in a Brave Bird. Thunderbolt. Alright, well I killed myself to the Brave Bird, but it does a lot of damage. And we know he's Scarf Hoopa. So, at this point, Nido King. Do I not just go into Nido King on Earth Power? He's in range of an Earth Power. Hang on. How should Brave Bird do to him? Skarmory. He could be max HP. I don't think he is, but he could be. 54? Uh, it's looking like he's probably no bulk. Um, if he was max HP... No, that's not a roll for max HP. So he's looking like no bulk, and Thunderbolt just did 98. Okay, so it's not spec... Well, we knew that. Scarf. Um, he got a high-ish roll on the Thunderbolt. There was no way that we were living Thunderbolt plus Brave Bird recoil, though. Minior can't come in now, either. Can Weavile tank a Thunderbolt? kill this thing uh, we can absolutely tank a Thunderbolt and kill this thing we can absolutely do that so I'm gonna go for it I think and any damage on Mianxiao is good damage because ground EMZ dig on Mianxiao 
will be a kill at some point. Um, Z dig. Yeah, so knockoff into Z dig is gonna kill me on show. So I'm gonna go Hoopa. And I can definitely tank a Thunderbolt, and I'm gonna just click knockoff. Um, is it gonna kill Charizard if he's this set? I mean, double knockoff is, so I'm definitely just clicking knockoff. Um, I think Weavile can actually just clean up the game here. Because Icicle Crash, uh, if he's in Mega Form, right, let's say he's Mega, then Dig is killing Charizard too. So I think Weavile can just clean up the game here. Um, just to sort of touch on a point that I was making a little bit earlier, this game has a lot of repercussions for playoffs for me at the very least. I have no idea how it's going to affect Brady on the other side um, because he still has to play Dan. But, yeah, okay. So that was clutch. Um, Mian Xiao can actually come in here and I sack Incineroar, I think, to it. Or I can sack Minior to it because the... Uh... Okay, well, he's taking good chip, which is the thing, right? So I can sack Minior here because it's not doing anything to this Mian Show. It's really not touching it at all. I'm sorry, I'm totally like losing my train of thought here, but let me just calc Nido King Sludge Wave against Mian Show. Um, it's doing a lot of damage, but it may not be enough to kill here. Which is why I'd really love to be able to switch into Minior here and sack it off, I think. Um, I think that's the play. And even uh, if for some reason he doesn't kill me here, like, it's obvious that he's going for the fighting move in my mind. But if for some reason he doesn't kill here, then I'm going to outspeed him the next turn. So I'm going to go into Minior in Shield's Down form, and he's Z. And he's Continental Crush. So Minior is dead, 100%. Yeah, that's uh, that's a dead Minior. Um, mm, okay, well, we know it's Z Stone Edge, so I can go Nido King here and click Sludge Wave pretty safely, I think. Um, I'm going to do it because I know my Weavile's got Z Dig in the back, and Sludge Wave should kill Charizard. Charizard X. Um, Sludge Wave should, yeah, it, Sludge Wave should kill Charizard, even after rocks, so that's the play. Now, now, um, okay, so I did kill him, and I think Nido King is going to be able to kill the Charizard here as well. So we're going to go for it. Um, yeah, so this game meant a lot for me because Andy took an FF win. Um, nice, we did win. Clean win. Um, I'm really happy about picking up that win, to be honest, because we've kind of had an up and down season. So this now puts us at four and five minus. Hang on, we won three oh minus one, four and five minus one, and uh, yeah, uh, that puts us in a really good spot for playoffs ish. Yes, uh, ish. It puts us in a really good playoff spot ish. Uh, I know Krabby was three and five going into this week, and I know he still has to play um, A Drive, so that's really cool but he may or may not um, make that. I'm sort of counting on Andy to lose another game for me to get in because Krabby and Andy both beat us and Ben also beat us. Um, I'd like to see Ben in playoffs though because I know he's a really good, really good player. Um, yeah, I'm excited about how this game goes. Next week we play Jake and the Boston Bronzongs. That is a, that's a doozy, uh, guys. <laughs> At the moment, Jake is 8-0 and... Oh, and I'm really nervous that he's going to want to go undefeated. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, dude, I, I'm a little bit scared. I'm really scared about that match, although I'm really happy that we won this game. Um, at the very least, going four and six isn't doesn't sound as bad to me as going three and uh, three and seven. So um, pretty clutch win. I thought we had a really good matchup going into this and I prepped really hard for things that didn't come. So I was a little bit scared about that. But overall, I think we pulled out a clean W. And, um, yeah, I was so happy to, uh, I was so happy to not see Miltank and Superior. Anyways, uh, that's, that should be it for me. I really don't need to go on talking about all this. And I will see you guys for our team builder against Jake and the Boston Bronzongs.